novel um, that you couldn't do otherwise. And the other secret is, um, is to have the right kind of speakers. Um, when you have acoustic instruments that are playing on stage, if you hear a violin playing, it sounds like the sound is coming from the person playing the violin. And when the clarinet's playing, it sounds like it's coming from the clarinet, and it radiates out from that instrument in all directions. Um, most of the time when you hear electronic music, when you hear synthesizers, it all goes into the sound system in the hall. So you hear it coming from the ceiling, from the walls. But um, to have an orchestra like this, you need to have the sound localized so that you can hear where each, uh, where each instrument is. And so in order to do that, you need to have speakers that radiate out in all directions. Um, we, have, we have a few of these speakers here. These hemisphere things. Uh, these are uh, these are reject speakers that we uh, that we were able to get from the Princeton Laptop Orchestra. They they received a grant, the uh, refractor grant upgrade, and so we were able to benefit by getting some of their equipment. Um, and you'll notice that they have speaker in the top and five speakers on the side, so they can radio meet out in all directions. But we wanted our own, and so um, a team of engineering students from College of Engineering have been working all semester to design this new speaker for us. Well, at the Goose Nest speaker array, we have six speakers, and they're all on these flexible necks, these goose necks here, so that we can have them pointed out that way, we can, we can configure them in all sorts of different um, uh, directions. Um, and so, um, this is the prototype. They're going to be building more for us, but um, our engineers are over here.